Hi, in this quick video, I'm going to show you how to log into Canvas and set up a home page. So here I am at sjdc.instructor.com. You can also access it directly on the Delta College website. Your username and password, hopefully you already are aware of. Uh, typically the username is your first initial and last name and the password should be the same as your college login, as if you were to log into any of the computers on campus. However, if that doesn't work for you, click Employee Login Help and that will take you to the Delta College webpage on how to request IT assistance. So I'm gonna go ahead and log into my account and you'll see first my dashboard. The dashboard will have these little cards that are representative of each class that I'm currently teaching. And I'm gonna go ahead and show you a completely empty one for, for today. So I click here on the course and you'll see nothing is there. Um, it'll ask me to create a new module because the modules will be the default as the home page for the course. But I personally find it's nice to have a home page that gives students um, some information like your office hours, point of contact, how to get started in the class, possibly participation, et cetera. And um, I like to add images, but that's completely up to you how you wanna start this page. So again, to start a home page, I'm just going to go to pages over here. You'll notice the little I with a, a line through it because no pages have been created yet. So click on pages. And, ooh, I am going to add one. So I can either click that little blue add one or this yellow add a page. So I'm gonna add a page and I'm going to call it home page or welcome page, whatever, whatever works for you. This is my home page. Here are my details. Okay, this is your opportunity to put whatever you want your students to see when they first log into the class. All right, again, I like to add images as well. So oh, I, I'll show you how to do that. Right here on this little toolbar, it looks like a mountain with the sun. It's to embed an image. And you can do that by adding a URL to any other image online. But just in case those hyperlinks end up being broken, it's good just to go and upload one. You can go to Canvas, click on My Files, and if you already have things uploaded, great. If not, click on Upload File. And I'm gonna go find something like, welcome. Now for ADA compliance, we have to make sure this alternative text is something that our visually impaired students can hear read to them. So I might just say, welcome image. And then that way they know that there's that image there. So I'm gonna update. And there's my image, this is my text. Um, I might include office hours and participation requirements. Get started by clicking on modules. Okay, and you can make this as simple or as detailed as you want, but this here will be that first page that students see. So I'm going to save it and publish it because if I don't publish, it won't be seen. And here it comes, there it is, there is my homepage. However, I haven't set it yet as my homepage. So if I go to the top right-hand side where it says publish, edit, and then there's these three little dots, I'm gonna click on those three dots and I'm going to use as front page. The front page is the homepage. Okay, so it's now called the front page, but it's still not there. So I'm gonna go home, lots of steps, right? And I'm going to choose my home page. So now page is front page. Everybody with me so far? Save. And my home page should now have that cute little welcome image along with my text. So let me get out of this course again. I've gone back to my dashboard. Remember what it looked like before? It just had blank um, squares with arrows that said add a module. Now if I click there, I'm going to have a cute little home page with a welcome sign. So that is what the students will see. Now if you want to check it to make sure the students are actually seeing any hyperlinks or images, you're going to go to the student view right here. And it'll give you a nice pink banner around it to remind you that this is the student view. And I go, oh, there it is. It looks correct. It looks how I want it to look.
It does have multiple tabs over here that students can go to, but I'll talk about those in another video. So again, this is how you set a home page. I'm going to leave student view. This is what it looks like, and now I'm ready to build content.